I wanted to talk about Kanye West. I wanted to, we need to talk about Kanye West. Because what, what is, what is going on with, what is going on with Kanye West, bro? I, I don't know. <laughs> there's so much to talk about because there's actually a couple song theories that suggest that Kanye West predicted the future. Yeah, I know. Kanye West might have predicted the future. Now, what is one song that Kanye West might have used to predict the future? It's actually Gold Digger. We'll start there. That's right. So you all know that he recently got divorced by, by uh, Kim Kardashian. Like, they're over. Okay? And one thing that people thought was interesting about his Gold Digger song was a line that is, that's here, actually. Okay? So the line is, 18 years, 18 years, she got one of your kids... Got you for 18 years. I know somebody playing, paying child support for one of his kids. His baby mama car and crib is bigger than his. You will see him on TV any given Sunday, win the Super Bowl, and drive off in a Hyundai. Now, what, what he was talking about in this song, he was talking about like a, a football player, right? An NFL football player who loses their kid loses uh, the divorce settlement and is driving a smaller car, has a smaller house than his wife, blah, blah, blah. But people are starting to realize that this actually might be about him. If you look at what's been going on with him and Kim Kardashian, you recognize that there's a lot of similarities between this song and his current situation. It's actually a lot, a whole lot of similarities. And when you begin to realize that, you're like, oh my God, like this, that's kind of creepy. 18 years, not only does Kim Kardashian have one of his kids, she got four of his kids. Four. And he lost the settlement. He's not doing so great. He's not doing so great. He's not actually looking up right now. And especially because he got canceled, he ain't got no more money. He's no longer a billionaire. He lost all of it because he got canceled. So now, just recently, they said that he has to pay upwards to $200,000 a month in child support. Oh, my God. That, that is, I mean, to me, right, a broke boy, that's a lot of money. $200,000 a month to Kim Kardashian, who is part of a billion-dollar franchise family, who has a billion-dollar clothing line, Skims. $200,000 a month in child support to a woman as rich as her? Wow, that, that's mind-blowing, right? So he is the guy he was talking about in this song. It's him. He's now driving off in a Hyundai because he can't afford any of his bins. He can't afford a Lambo. Duke can hardly afford a barber. It's over for him. So people think that this song, somehow he was predicting his future, but that's not it. You also have uh, Flashing Lights. You guys ever heard the song Flashing Lights? It's actually kind of a good song. I like the song, right? Flashing Lights. And this one was hilarious. This one I thought was actually really, really funny. All right? So people were saying that, as you know, Kanye West had made some statements recently that are unsavory. And he's posted some pictures lately that are unsavory and what basically adds up to him making a song called flashing lights and in the lyrics as you can see here it says and the weather's so breezy man why can't life always be this easy she's in the mirror dancing so sleazy i call i get a call like where are you yeezy and try to hit you with the ula wapti Till I get flashed by the paparazzi. Dang, these niggas got me. I hate these niggas more than a Nazi. Dang, these niggas got me. I hate these niggas more than a Nazi. Does that seem awkward to anybody else? Like, I, <laughs> this song in general... What we're looking at right now is the old Kanye. And we all miss the old Kanye. The old Kanye that used to hate racists. The old Kanye that said stuff like, George Bush hates black people. 
The old Kanye that used to wear t-shirts that said, I hate Nazis. We remember that Kanye, right? Well, now we're in a new Kanye era. We're in a Kanye era where he actually likes Nazis. We're in a Kanye era where he's actually like kind of cool with what Hitler's been doing. Kind of cool with the idea of who he is. I, I don't know what's going on with Kanye. I think Kanye West personally has a lot of mental issues. He has a lot of things going on. But I also do believe that Kanye West is officially canceled. Kanye West is officially canceled after saying this. After saying, I like gentler, replace the J with an H. He said that out loud on video during an interview. And people don't believe it. People are actually fighting and saying he never said that. People are actually fighting and saying that Kanye West never said that. It happened. All of you Kanye West fans, hear me now. Kanye West is officially canceled. If you still like Kanye West, then you also like Nazis. If you still like Kanye West, then you also like Jitler replaced the J with an H. You are a Nazi sympathizer if you like Kanye West, period. I don't really know another way to put that. You can't listen to the man say, what he said, and then act like, oh no, well, he made graduation. But he made my dark twisted fan my dark twisted fantasy. But he did that stuff with Kid Cuddy. But he made Donda one and two. But 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 Kanye West, he he made homecoming. But 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 but, but shut up! Shut up. You all of you have to realize that what Kanye West has done has destroyed his career forever. There is no coming back from where he is now. He is at the lowest point on the spectrum of fame and celebrity that you could possibly get. And all he said was a few words. That's all it takes. Now listen, your position on why or how, that's up to you. That's, that's totally up to you. But you can look at what has happened and you can say without a shadow of a doubt that that man is officially canceled. No more question. No more, no more answers. That's it. Done. And quite frankly, I'm actually kind of glad. Ever since the old Kanye left, I've just been, I felt empty on the inside. So really, I'm, I got I to gotta be honest, I'm kind of glad about this. Kind of glad. Kanye West is over. The party's over, guys. Pack it up. It's, it's a wrap.